All right, in this container, I have a little snake, and I believe it's a garter snake. I don't know 100% for sure what it is, but I'm pretty confident it's a garter. We do have copperhead snakes up here, but I know it's not a copperhead. Here's a snake skin that I found a couple of months ago in my greenhouse. And as you can see, it's pretty big. It shriveled up a lot in the last couple of months, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this somewhere so it doesn't get damaged anymore. But I just wanted to show you this snake skin is actually pretty big. I'd say it's... Uh, well over 24 inches so and I have seen the snake that shed that skin and it's somewhere buried underneath one of those shelves I got where, where my pots are in the, in the main greenhouse so he's in there and I leave him alone and since I noticed these snakes in my greenhouse I notice I don't see any more rodent problems which is a godsend to me so I am very grateful that I have these snakes here to uh, control the rodent problem I have. Yes, I still have a, a chipmunk that likes to come in here and just suddenly start randomly digging holes in my pots and stuff. Why he does that, I don't know. He just likes, he thinks I'm planting something for him. So he comes in, he comes, the, the, the little chipmunk comes in all the way from the back over there where my other garden is, all the way across into here and he digs holes in my pots once in a while. And I'm hoping these garter snakes will get them, but I, I doubt that. So let's take a look at this snake and see what it looks like. Hopefully he's not too scared. You know, I, I didn't try not to scare him when he was going into the container. And as you can see, He's right down there. See him? He's a wonderful little guy. Yeah, and I'll just let him out. He'll come out in the zone. Come on, little snake. He's scared. Now, garter snakes do bite. I have been bitten when I was younger by a garter snake. I never got infected. They're non-poisonous. Um, they're pretty safe. The bite will scare the ever-living heck out of you if you've never been bitten by a snake before. Especially the ladies. Ladies, are, they'll see them and they'll be like super scared. Don't be scared of them. They're not really, they're not harmful or anything like that. I think here he comes now. Is he coming out? Yeah, they're not harmful or anything. Just if you see him and they bother you, just leave him alone. He'll go about his way. You, just, you consider yourself lucky if you do see him because they usually, during the day, they like to hide. And one of the things I, I can tell you that I know about snakes is that you look at the eye. Now, if the eye has a slit in it, you know it's a pit viper or it's a very venomous snake. If you see anything with a slit in its eye, if you can see its eye, stay as far away from that thing as you possibly can. Uh, that could either be a copperhead. It could be, I believe, the, the cotton mouths have slits in their eyes that they're in a pit viper. See, there he is. And um, so are uh, uh, rattlesnakes. So, as you can see, there he is right there. He's just kind of cruising around, looking what's going on. He's not. He's not going to attack you unless you give him a reason to. But yeah, they will strike you. Believe it or not, I, if I, you, you could pick these up by the tail, and I'll still you'll still get bitten. See how he goes onto the thing. He's just looking around where he can go, and. See how he's putting his head back like he where he wants to take a strike. But if you look at his eye, you see. You see his eye right there? If I could get too close without him striking a camera. Uh, it's it's round. It's not... There he goes. Oop, he's gone. <laughs> oh, that's one thing about snakes. They go, boy. He's gone. I can't believe he's, he got away that easy. 
I don't want to like scare them out of the greenhouse either but they're very very good to have in your greenhouse if you got them in your garden they're excellent you definitely want to have a garter snake let's see if I can find them I'd like to send them you pick them up by the tail but if you don't do it right he will turn around and bite you you know and that's what I don't want to do is get bitten today I don't want to He's under here somewhere, and I don't like I say I don't really want to scare him. I don't know where he went. He he took off. He's gone. But I wanted to. I did want to get him by the tail. He got away quick though. You see how fast he got out of there? Wow. Where did he go though? Where did he go? Man, he took off that snake. He's in here. I want to leave him in here too. But anyway, that's uh, just a quick look at a garter snake that I found in the greenhouse. And yes, I do have some snakes in the greenhouse. And wherever you're going to have rodent problems, you will find snakes. And that's actually a good thing because really cats and birds and other things that eat rodents really ain't effective enough to... To get rodents, especially the really fast ones, the snakes will get them every time. So if you have snakes, they're good. If you have poisonous snakes, again, you know, you have to be very careful around these things. I mean, if you have a lot of poisonous snakes on your property, then you're probably going to want to catch and release. And I wouldn't do it myself if I were you. I would recommend you get somebody who can trap them for you and then properly remove them because you don't want to get bit by a copperhead or... Uh, you know a rattlesnake or anything like that so stay away from those kind if you see them but you know I always go by the eye if the eye if the head looks if the see how his head was very small looked like the end of a finger like almost like that you know and his eye was like round that you know is you're safe but if the head looks like an arrow and the eyes are uh, you know slanted then stay away from it because sometimes like copperheads may not uh, exhibit a pattern per se they don't always have those uh, those uh, patterns on them, them 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 dark and light and you know checkered patterns sort of like a rattlesnake they don't have that necessarily so, especially the younger ones they're just brown they almost look like garter snakes and those are the ones that can do the most damage so you want to be really careful with snakes if you're going to handle them be very very careful like i handled this thing very carefully uh and i didn't like i said i didn't really want to scare it so you know i leave him go i didn't want him to go where he went though i wanted to let him go you know underneath here because that's where the little rats like to go and i'll let him go under there or underneath this one you know underneath that that little shelf i got a lot of mice and things like to go in there so i like to send those snakes in there but anyway uh don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one take care Woo! <laughs>